day, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of Get Fit or Die Trying. G'day boys and girls, just down here in Martins Bend Reserve slash campground which is situated on the banks of the River Murray in Berry here in South Australia's Riverland. Now this campground costs $5 per site per night. All sites are unallocated so it's first in best dressed. Plenty of room for everybody though. Uh, there are toilets and there is water although it's not drinking water so make sure you've got plenty of drinking water. Now if you're thinking what are you doing with your bike here in the Riverland, there's no mountains, why would you bother mountain biking in the Riverlands? Well you'd be surprised, there are actually some pretty cool trails, especially within the uh, Murray River National Park. But it all starts here with the uh, Lion Allen Thermo Recreational Trail. Alright hey, boys and girls, down here in Berry. Alright so I've got navigation going on here but I don't know how well it's going to go. I don't usually navigate with a lot of GPS that much. But anyway, just going to explore. About 45 odd k's of trails to do, so nice little spot through here actually. Yes, yeah, so I'm on the A bike today. Haven't got a powered site. I don't have a uh, inverter on the van yet to be able to use the charger to charge the bike, so sort of give some love to the Merida. So there's no cheating today. Pretty nice scenery through here though. Well, that's the sound of being back on track, so this is the problem with navigating some of these routes. It's not always going to be exactly on track. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a bit different riding the A-bike. There's not that boost of power when you take off. Once you get going, it's not too bad. It's only about 15 kilos, this bike, so 15 or 16. Morning, mate. What's it say? Woodcutter's Rest. Huh. Pretty close to the river here. Single track through there as well. Ah, so this is the big caravan park. When we came past here last night, there was lots of empty spaces, so it obviously got filled up the last minute. Oh, check this out, there's a piano. Geez, what's this thing sound like? Hell, look at it. <laughs> Play me, I'm yours. What do we got? Oh, I don't like Wow. Just sounds like one of those freaky, bloody uh, haunted pianos. Mm. That is hauntingly scary. So it looks like he's one of the... Uh, major pumping stations. Yes and if it wasn't for these things there would be no agriculture out here because it's pretty much a dry red desert sand and mallee scrub um, so yeah plenty of water getting drawn out of the Murray to feed all the orchards in the vineyards in the area and there's plenty of these around the place. Oh, here we go. So we're coming into the uh, River Murray National Park. So there's three trails that I'll be exploring today. Uh, there's the Rodeo Trail, there's the uh, Catarapco Trail and the Nackendale Wetland Trail. The uh, Rodeo Trail and the Catarapco Trail pretty much follow this route here for about oh, two k's or so, sort of along the edge. And then the Rodeo Trail spurs off, does a bit of a loop and then comes back around and joins up again. Now the Catarapco Trail is a bit more of an out and back. It basically goes out to Lock 4, which is what you'll see on the uh, Parks and Wildlife map. But in actual fact, there's a new section, brand new section. I get to ride it today and it goes along Sawmill Creek. So I actually have a little bit of an impromptu sort of uh, meet up with a guy on the track who was actually uh, one of the trail builders. His name's Bob and uh, he's just finished signposting this new bit of track. So I get to ride that today, which would be great. But uh, yeah, really nice views and uh, really nice trails. So highly recommended if you want to bring your bike out here to Berry at Renmark. There's also stuff at Renmark as well. That'll be another video. But uh, for now, sit back and enjoy this one. I don't have to worry about any uh, battery anxiety today. Well, I do have tyre anxiety, slightly. 
running cheerless. I do have a spare cheer with me. And uh, these tyres, especially the back ones, getting a bit low tread wise. Let's make that difficult to get through, shall we? Get the motos out, eh? More single track around the place too, eh? So what's it like riding the analog bike after all these e-bike rides? Well, pedalling above the motor, or with no motor, it's definitely easier. The bike is probably about oh, geez, nine kilos lighter, and um, tyres are a bit narrower. Not too bad, really. I don't know what speed I'm doing. I have no idea. Oh, we're back on here now, are we? Right, eh? So I found with me riding on the e-bike, my average speed is probably around about 5k's faster than it would be on the analog bike. I guess I can maintain that 25k uh, speed limit a lot longer with assistance as opposed to the e-bike which is all leg power. See that's handy having a big tree root right there. What's all that about? Catfish reach. Built with a K. Got a flow going on. Solar panels for something or other. All right, here we go. through here. Must be the single track. single track around here or is it all just double track? There's a views mate. Nice.
There you go, man. How good is this, eh? You like it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Bloody brilliant. Yeah, well, I live here. I'm going to help make the track. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. Yeah, no, it's great. I like it. It's just so good to, you know, be so close to the water, especially going around that other part over there. Yeah. You get right in, it comes right down around you the water and yeah, yeah, yeah. got little jumpy bits there. And I'm Paul anyway, mate. Bob. Bob, nice to meet you, man. We meet every Sunday at the Berry Fire Station. Okay. And we do a lap. Now give us a big map anywhere where there's been roads, they let us ride on. So Anyway, mate. Nice to meet you. All the best. Good on you, and um, yeah. You enjoy it. Will do. And don't think you're lost, you've got to just keep going. Yep, I like getting lost anyway. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to worry about my battery running out today, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, all, all the best. Good on you, mate. See you, Bob. There you go, eh? Bob helps to uh, maintain the track, put in signposts. Jungle here, mate. Oh, check this out. Oh, I've got no e power today. Mighty Murray. Oh, look at the pelicans. Majestic. <laughs> Water skiing. So this is that new section of the Catarapco Trail that I was talking about. This is the bit going alongside Sawmill Creek. So this is literally weeks old this. It's got fresh new posts in there and as you'll see the surface isn't really worn in properly yet. There's still lots of tree litter around, lots of crunching going on, lots of leaves and twigs and all that sort of stuff. But obviously as it gets more used you know it'll start to wear in and you'll get a nice uh, dirt surface and uh, it'll be a bit easier to ride. But uh, at the moment it feels like I'm bush bashing a little bit. So it's literally just adding like a bit of a loop section onto the uh, Catarapco Trail now. So um, rather than sort of just turning right and heading along a dirt road, you turn left, you go across those couple of uh, new bits of water infrastructure there, uh, floodgates, whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, then we just go down on this creek here. So uh, yeah, it does come back around to a point that I'd seen before and realised, okay, that's sort of just a bit of a loop. But uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting. Some of these parts you ride through here um, are sort of like mud flats that have uh, gotten a bit dried you know and hardened up um, over the summer so it'll be interesting to see what happens when this trail gets a bit wet
so now I'm on the NAC Endow Wetland Trail. So this is a bit of a loop. It's not actually um, sort of written about on the map that you get from uh, Parks and Wildlife, but it does show it on the legend and it does show the little loop around. It sort of basically just comes off the uh, Katarapko Trail. I'm not actually going to do the whole loop. Uh, I'm just going to ride some sections of it and then get myself to a bit of a dirt road and then join back up with uh, the Rodeo Trail. And that's also a bit of a loop, but I'm only going to take a small section of that and then get back onto the Katarapko Trail, which will then take me back to the campground. So, uh, yeah, stick around. There's lots more single track to go. And, uh, yeah, I hope you like it because, yeah, I'm really loving this ride. It's like, so, I just love riding new places, you know. Like, I just really get tired of riding the same old, same old. So, I'm always out trying to find new places. So, now, I'm on a mission. I'm trying to find new places to ride all the time show you guys what they're all about so that when you want to go camping and you want to take your bike you know where you can go and ride.
So now, on the Rodeo Trail, or the Rodeo Trail, depending on where you come from. All right, bit of sand to get through first. Oh. Okay, let's go. There it is boys and girls thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to stick around there's going to be another video in this series and it will be for the Renmark ride anyway that's the berry ride done and dusted with thanks for watching see you next time ta-da